day, Peppa and her family are going for a drive in their red car. Shall we have the roof down? Yes, please. <laughs> Peppa and George love their car. Is everybody ready? Ready! Then let's go! I love our car. <laughs> and our car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, the car does not sound very well. What's wrong, Daddy? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Let's take it to Grandad Dog's garage. He can fix it. That's a good idea, Mummy Pig. <laughs> Grandad Dog runs the garage. He is very good at mending cars. <laughs> Oh dear, Daddy Pig. Your car does not sound very well. Can you fix it, please, Grandad Dog? Yes, but it will take all day. Oh! We wanted to go for a drive in our car. Don't worry, you can borrow this new car while I fix yours. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Grandad Dog. Would you like the roof down? Yes, please. I'll just press this red button. What a clever car. Wow. When you come back, I will have fixed your car. Thank you, Grandad Dog. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Pepper and her family like the new blue car. There are so many buttons in this new car. What does the green button do, Daddy? Let's see. Magic windows! <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, make the magic windows go down. <laughs> <laughs> what does the blue button do? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I love this new car. Can we keep it? No, we can't keep it, Pepper. We've only borrowed it for today. Oh? Oh, no. I think it's going to rain. Yes, I'll just put the roof up. Now, which is the button to close the roof? Hi. How I can help? <laughs> Oops. Silly me. Aha! This must be the button. Ah! The new car has squirted Daddy Pig with water. <laughs> Silly Daddy, that's not the roof. This button. Oops, not that one. This button. My friend Pepper is the best. Hi, I'm your assistant. Daddy Pig has forgotten which button closes the roof. Hooray! <laughs> but now it's stopped raining. Can we open the roof again? Uh, yes. Which button was it? The, the red, red one! one. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Grandad Dog has fixed the car. Your car is fixed. Hooray! Thank you, Grandad Dog. And keep the change. Thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Bye bye. Ah, it's good to get our old car back again. I like the new car, but I like our old car better. And I think our old car likes us too. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it all wrong. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little Peppa Pig. This is Peppa Pig. And this is Peppa Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. I can get it with my trunk. I can't. If family can't reach it, we... I told them to cut the tree down, but no one look who's complaining now. A trunk? Then we'll never get our ball back. What can we do? 
chop the tree down. No! All right, jeez. You never want to have any fun. Ow! If only there was somebody tall enough to reach our ball. Gerald! What? Gerald! What? Gerald! What? Oh my goodness, what is wrong with you? We've said the same thing three times already. What? I can try. <laughs> Gerald Giraffe has rescued the ball. <laughs> Who knew he actually had a use? Oh, I can see something else. There's an animal stuck in the tree. Is it a cat? No, no, no. I'm here. I'm here. No, no, no. I'm here. I'm here. No, no, no. I'm here. I'm here. It is Tiddles the Tortoise. Tiddles! Tiddles! Here is Dr. Hamster. The I'm an innocent turtle, and that may make me slow mentally, but that's what makes me fit in with everyone else, don't you see? <gasps> you naughty tortoise! Who do I have to thank for rescuing my Tiddles? Gerald! <laughs> thank you, Gerald. My goodness, you are a tall lad. I'm a giraffe. Oh, but you're not supposed to be talking to Gerald. I'm the star of the show. Yes, that's because I'm a hamster. Our hamsters always taller than giraffes. Uh... I will be taller than Dr. Hamster. Whenever I want to look, I can be bigger than her right now. Yeah. What were those weird spots around him? Wait, are we being edited? Yes. The world is a simulation? <laughs> Daddy Pig is hard at work in the study. Daddy Pig! Narrator said you were hard at work, but you're reading a newspaper. Why does he never acknowledge my existence? It's not that bad. Yeah, look what he's about to say now. It seems that the only people in the study are George, Daddy Pig, and Peppa. As usual, I was right. Haha. <laughs> I'm getting money for a PS3. Cobwebs mean spiders. And I don't like spiders. Let me get money. No, stop it. I don't want a PS3. <coughs> Thank you, Spider, for giving my mom a heart attack. I really wanted a PS3, but you saved the day. <laughs> oh, where have you gone? Find it. I don't need another heart attack. Everyone is looking for Mr. Skinny Legs. Mr. Skinny Legs is not in the filing cabinet. These files seem important, which is exactly why I should get the paper shredder. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not under the chair. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not on the table. Oh. What are you looking at? You, obviously. Oh. I wonder where Mr. Skinny Legs is. Ho ah! oh, ho! Oh. Hear that, kids? That is the sound of the fabled idiot. Thank you again, Spider. Wait a second, you're scared of spiders. I'm most certainly going to take advantage of this. <laughs> <laughs> now Mr. Skinny Legs has got the whole garden to play in. Bye-bye. Give my mom a heart attack when my mom says she doesn't want the PS3. It's starting to rain. <laughs> Mr. Skinny Legs is running back to the house. Maybe he doesn't like the rain. Ha ha, you thought I was going back to your trash hole that you call your home. He's climbing up the water spout. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. And then it fell due to gravity and rain, and then a nursery rhyme was created about it, and then it became rich and famous, and then it became snooty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Mr. Skinny Legs in the house, Daddy Pig. And I don't want to go to your house, you, 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 weird woman. Let's take Mr. Skinny Legs a bit further into the garden. Back off. Back off. There we are. A nice tree for you to live in. <laughs> what is he doing? The thing the spider made is to attack Mommy Pig. That's why you must never, ever break one. If you do, the spider has to do all the work again. I like making things suffer. <laughs> Shush, nobody asked you, George. It is bedtime. 
I like watching. Peppa Pig skits all day every day. And tomorrow, he'll make another web. Really? Yes. Mr. Skinny Legs makes a new web every day. Good night. Good night. Night, night. <laughs> Garden. Gets to know coronavirus. Daddy Pig is sitting in his favorite sunny spot. Ah, what a perfect day for doing nothing. Daddy Pig is self-employed, obviously. Don't tell him I told you this, but he actually got fired. How could this be better? I know, a cup of tea. Grandpa Pig has come to see Pepper and... Paprika. Grandpa Pig! Papa Pig! Hello, Pepper and George. You're going to have your very own flower garden. Finally, something I can actually brag about. Ooh, a garden for George and me. I've got a packet of flower seeds for each of you. I hope I can frame you so my mommy can ground you, and all of the seed packets will be mine. <laughs> now. Go introduce yourselves as coronavirus and Ebola. Here we are. And there's a delivery box I'm gonna open tomorrow. Grandpa Pig is digging Pepper and George's garden. Oh! Ah! Tea for the workers! This cup of tea is not my cup of tea. Uh... You may not have liked it, but I liked it. No, he meant that cup of tea wasn't his. Do we need a flower garden? Yes! yes. But that's where I sit in my chair. There are more important things than chairs, Daddy Pig. Oh my goodness. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. There are more important things than newspapers, Daddy Pig. Yes, like flowers. Look, Daddy. They're colorful thingies that I think are called plants. <laughs> Pepper has lots of flower seeds. George only has one flower seed. But it is quite a big seed. Ha ha, Peppa. Big seeds are for big boys and small seeds are for small girls. <laughs> Could you fetch us some water, Daddy Pig? Hmm. Okay. I ain't your puppet, old man. Come on, you wanna go? Seeds need water to grow. They get very thirsty. No, duh. I thought they needed to go to the bathroom. Some little birds have come to watch. Don't let the b Fly away, birdies! Here's the water. Daddy scared the birds away. Ho ho! Daddy Pig has surrendered to the sound of uh, uh, the birds, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper, George, bath time. Oh, but what if the birdies come back? I like food so much, you should be worried about me eating the seeds while you're gone. Thank you, Daddy. Good luck, Daddy Pig. See you tomorrow. Bye. <sighs> this is the life. No kids, no wife, no parents-in-law. <sighs> this is nice. Daddy, you have to be the scarecrow. I am fat. Get out. I'm a monster. Shoo, shoo, naughty birds. Stay there until the birdies go to bed. Ho, ho, What am I, your doll? All the birdies have gone to bed. Daddy Pig can go inside now. <laughs> it is morning. Fellow Whistlehead, let us go explore today and start having a quality show. <laughs> Ooh, babe. Morning. Ah, your plants have started to grow. Soon they'll have flowers. Even if you didn't ask for permission to come, you could have at least asked for permission to be so fat. 